Hi, my name is Gasper. I'm Developer Relations Lead at Oasis Network. Today I'm going to show you how to use our official Oasis wallets, web version and browser extension. We will start with web version. So you can simply open your browser, type in wallet.oasisprotocol.org and this web page will appear. So that's our web wallet. Now, if you already have your wallet, you can simply open your wallet with your mnemonics, private key or even ledger, right? But you can go back and create a new wallet. So if, if we try to demonstrate clicking the new wallet, there are your, your mnemonics, right? So this is basically your key phrase to unlock or open your new created wallet. So never share these mnemonics with anyone because whoever owns them, they can access your rows, right? So you want to save them securely in a safe place and then use them accordingly in web wallet or in browser extension. So if you want to create a new wallet with these um, mnemonics, you simply click I save my key phrase and then you click open my wallet. Right? And then you just type in your mnemonics. For demo purposes, I will open my existing wallet with my mnemonics. Right? So I will copy and paste here my mnemonics. All right, so here are my mnemonics. I will open my wallet and you will see that my wallet is already active. So I already received some rows and sent some rows. So I will show you some best practices, right? Now, the same wallet can be also accessed from our browser extension. Let's see how to do that, right? So first of all, web wallet has transactions, so some history, you can check active delegations if you have some, or even debonding delegations, right? So first we will take a look how you can access the same wallet with browser extension, right? So simply, you see, I don't have this um, browser extension yet. I need to go to Chrome Web Store and I need to search for Oasis Wallet. And this Oasis Wallet is, you know, offered by Oasis Foundation. So that's the right one. And you can simply add it to Chrome. I will add extension and it should appear right here. So I will close the pop-up for now and I will make sure that this Oasis Wallet browser extension will appear right here. So I will pin that. Okay, so it's right here. Now, I will go back to Oasis Wallet just to see what's here and what will happen inside browser extension. So let's open browser extension. And the same way as with web wallet, you can either restore wallet with mnemonics or create a new wallet. So since we already created a new wallet, I will just restore my wallet. So I will name that. So first of all, you will have to provide a password that will unlock that browser extension, your wallet, right? And all the accounts inside that. So I will make sure that my password is strong enough. And I will click understand uh, because, you know, this is DeFi, right? Decentralized finance. And I'm responsible for all the actions. If I forgot passwords, if I maybe share accidentally my mnemonics, you know, my wallet can be compromised. So make sure that you're doing that in a secure manner. Okay, so I will click next and I will provide my mnemonics. Confirm and you see, voila, there is wallet restored, right? Start. So first thing I want to show you is that uh, main uh, tab wallet, there is account which you will notice is the same MPN tree, just like in the web wallet, right? And now what we can do, I will go to account management on top right, and I will just change the account name. So I will name it, for example, Oasis Demo. I will confirm that. And now you can see I can even export private key. You might need that private key to importing that wallet um, or this account to other wallets or maybe, you know, other applications. So you can click export private key and you will get it. Now, um, I want to make sure that um, I show you functionality like staking, right? 
So you can go to the second tab and you will notice that currently I have no active delegations and no debonding delegations. So I can go to validators and I can choose from the list of active validators to which one I want to stay, right? So I will not be sending my tokens there, my rows there, but I will make staking transaction. So basically I will stake my rows. So I will, let's say, choose stake fish and keep in mind that minimum it's 100 rows. So I will click delegate. I will provide minimum, so 100 rows and I will click next, right? So I will just confirm my staking and you will notice that now uh, after staking transaction is uh, successful, I will refresh my web wallet so you will see how this reflects in my uh, web version, right? So yeah, we can, we can wait for pending to change to, uh, you know, successful uh, or we can just try to refresh our web uh, version and see if we already have active delegations. So what you will see total balance is still the same, right? But now we have staked 100 rows and if I go to active delegations, you see there is stake fish 100 rows and that's it. If I open my browser extension again, you will notice staking. I have now total balance available and sometimes these active delegations take some time. So that's why it doesn't appear here. So I always verify in my web wallet, right? The second thing I want to show you is that if you will be using our DeFi system, right? Uh, with EVM compatible chain. So this is called Emerald Paratime. You have to import Ethereum address basically, right? So I will go to account management one more time. So top right account management, import, because I want to import Ethereum compatible private key. That will be my address I will be using, for example, on Emerald dApps, right? Maybe on DEXs like UserSwap. So I will just click Ethereum compatible private key. I will provide a name like Oasis, um, let's say Emerald. I will click next and I need to provide private key for my Ethereum compatible address, right? So I will copy and paste my private key right here. Okay, so there it is. Keep in mind that if you have mnemonics, you will have to transform or convert this mnemonics into private key. I will confirm private key and voila, there is my Oasis Emerald address, right? Account, right? So now what I can do, I can actually choose which account I will use. So I decide uh, that I will first check my emerald if there is something uh, or if there are some rows, right? So we see almost one rows, right? Uh, but what I want to do actually is copy that address. You know, if I go back to wallet, uh, I will try to copy this uh, address because I want to send or let's say transfer, migrate some rows from my consensus layer to my EVM compatible chain, which is emerald, right? So what I will do, copy this address, change the account back to consensus and say paratimes right here or even here, the third tab, paratimes, right? So I want to send my rows to paratime now. So click paratime, paste here the address that you will use for your, you know, dApps, right? And then enter amount. So I will just send, let's say nine rows to this address and click next. I will confirm the transaction and I will wait a few seconds. So you will notice how quickly actually my rows will be transferred from consensus to EVM compatible chain. So basically it's like immediate, right? Um, so yeah, we will wait for another few seconds and then we can go and verify our Ethereum address. So currently we still have pending, but it will change to successful, right? And meanwhile, we can refresh our, um, you see successful. Meanwhile, we can refresh our web wallet. So you will notice there is only 300 because we sent or we transferred nine rows to Emerald. So open my browser extension again. 
And now I will change this consensus account to Emerald, just to give you an idea where it shows, right? So now there is my wallet. This is my Emerald wallet. I will go to pair times and there is my balance, right? If I want to send that back to consensus, I can click consensus to consensus and I can provide my Oasis one, so consensus address, which I can copy right here from web wallet, right? So this makes uh, your address to be copied to clipboard. So I will go back and I will click pair times to consensus enter my Oasis wallet and I will send back, let's say, only nine, like before, click next, confirm. And now my nine rows are being transferred from Emerald back to consensus layer. So you see how easy it is to, let's say, transfer between EVM compatible chain and our consensus, right? And you will notice it's very, very, very cheap. So basically it doesn't cost uh, a fortune, right? So it's in few, few, few uh, rows, right? So let's wait that this transaction will be completed. So it's still pending. And if we just uh, try to refresh web browser again, okay, we should see 309 plus 100, it's 409, right? So I will go to back to my browser extension and you will notice if I change accounts to my uh, consensus, voila, there are total 309 and active delegations which we can actually verify in our web wallet. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.